<laughs> the shadow. The Shadow, the mystery man who strikes terror into the very hearts of sharpsters, lawbreakers, and criminals. Lamont Cranston, a man of wealth, a student of science, and master of other people's minds, devotes his life to righting wrongs, solving crimes, protecting the innocent, and punishing the guilty. Using advanced methods that may ultimately become available to all law enforcement agencies, Cranston is known to the underworld as The Shadow. Never seen, only heard, as haunting to superstitious minds as a ghost, as inevitable as a guilty conscience. Today's drama, Tunnel of Terror. The closing of a bad season is always a time of tension in any business. But at Seaside Park, the elements themselves seem to put the seal of doom on a carnival concession called the Tunnel of Terror. Hey, Vicky, don't sell no more tickets. Crowd's going home, closing up. Okay, Mr. Weber. But well, what about the last boat? What about it? Well, it hasn't drifted back out of the tunnel. So what? It was empty, like they've been most of the season. It wasn't. Uh, I sold one ticket. To the guy who's been hanging around you all summer? He's nice. Not a fresh, smart Alec. Like that big ape, Leo? Yes. And I'm meeting him at the park entrance as soon as we close up. Go check your cash. Let him wait. Yes, sir. I'll tell Loverboy you wouldn't meet him in the Cave of Mermaids. If he comes out this way. You'll tell him nothing. Leo! Come here. You lovesick old fool. You've been listening through the walls again. Sure, it's easy. They're paper thin. Come on into the water tunnel. The last boat. Yeah. Where's the guy that's been after Vicky? In the bottom of the boat. What's the matter with him? He's drowned. Dead. How did that happen? I got in an argument with him. He tripped and fell into the canal. It was an accident, but nobody will believe it. Why not? Because you chose him to keep away from the gorgeous Vicky. you ticket taker and part-time mermaid. So did you! So we gotta get him out of here. How? Out the emergency exit onto the beach. What good would that do? We can make it look like he went for a swim and drowned in the ocean. No! Come on, Weber. You're gonna help ditch this body in the ocean, or one of us will burn for his murder. And I promise you, it won't be me. Good morning, Commissioner. Come into my office, Margo. Cranston? Yeah, why the hurry up, Cole Weston? Sit down. I want you to look into something that's out of my jurisdiction. A murder? Might have been an accidental drowning. The tide brought the body into shore, and our patrol boat fished it out. Ugh. Whose body, Commissioner? The identification papers belong to a young fellow named Tom Regan. And his brother Jim has identified the body. Why do you say it only might have been an accident? The body was found in salt water. But the autopsy revealed that the lungs were filled with fresh water. Uh, several freshwater creeks flow into the ocean. Except for one thing. What? His brother says Tom was gone on a girl at Seaside Park. This ticket stub we found in his clothes indicates Tom Regan was there the night he disappeared. Let me see that stub. It's for a ride through a thing called the Tunnel of Terror, where the girl works. Hmm. Have you followed this up? I'm tied up with another matter. Besides, Seaside Park is beyond the city limits. It's out of my jurisdiction. Like me to run out there and check? Yes. I've phoned the sheriff's office. Take this ticket stub with you and contact him. Give him all the help you can. Isn't Seaside Park closed for the season? Some of the concessions are still open on the weekends. And we'll look around. Oh, and one more thing. What? Jim Regan is waiting outside. Take him with you, but watch him. Why watch him? He was crazy about his younger brother. They looked almost exactly alike. He thinks it's murder. And if you find a suspect, Jim Regan is likely to try and take the law into his own hands. <laughs>
There's the Tunnel of Terror, Mr. Cranston. It seems to be operating. But not one customer. The whole place is deserted. It's chilly and it looks like rain. I wonder if the sheriff is here. He's out on another case. I left word we'd wait here for him, but meanwhile, we might start checking. Brr, it's chilly. And the ocean looks cold. They threw my brother's body into it. Take it easy, Regan. We don't know that for a fact. If I can prove it, I'll kill whoever did it, and... There's the girl. In the ticket window. How do you know she's the one? Tom showed me her picture. Her name is Vicky Vale. Let me talk to her. You keep out of it for now. All right, but... Let Lamont and the police handle it, Jim. Okay, but... Excuse me, miss? How many? Uh, no tickets, thanks. I'd like to talk to you. You are talking to me. Privately. Why? It's a personal matter, Miss Vale. How do you know my name? I don't know you. I'm Lamont Cranston, and I understand you knew Tom Reagan. Tom? Did you know Tom? Why do you say he did? He's dead. Don't you know? How do you know? He was drowned. In the ocean. It was in the paper this morning. Is that the first you knew of it? Yes. When did you last see him? Here? Last week? We had a date. At the gate. And he didn't meet me. Why didn't he meet you? I don't know. Why are you asking me these questions? Uh, come out of the ticket booth and I'll explain. Just... Just a minute. I'll, I'll close the ticket window and come out the back. Jim, come with me. I want to try something. What, Mr. Cranston? You look enough like your brother in this light. Uh, Miss Vale? Yes, Mr. Cranston. What do you want? I want you to meet... Tom! <sighs> they said you were dead. <sighs> Pick her up, Jim. She's fainted from the shock. She knows something. Margo? Yes, Lamont? Help Jim get this girl in the concession office. Help revive her. I want to look around. We will return to the shadow in just a moment. But first, do you slow down passing a school? Do you pass other cars on a hill? Do you come to a full stop at street intersections? The shadow wonders. The terrific toll of death and injuries indicate that many drivers fail to exercise caution, fail to consider the other fellow. Play safe, for it pays. And now, back to the shadow and the Tunnel of Terror. Investigating the drowning of Tom Regan, Lamont Cranston, Margot Lane, and Jim Regan, the dead man's brother, have gone to Seaside Park and are at a concession called the Tunnel of Terror. An attractive young ticket seller has fainted at the sight of Tom's nearly identical brother. A few minutes later, while Cranston looks over the thrill ride of boats drifting through a labyrinth of canals that feature a series of undersea dioramic horrors, Margot and Jim revive the terror-stricken girl. Tom. Tom, I loved you. Why didn't you meet me? Why didn't you wait? She's regaining consciousness, Jim. She must have loved my brother. Then she couldn't have drowned him. Drowned. Drowned. Uh, who drowned him? Why? Why? That's what we're here to find out. And if I do... We'll leave it to the law. In your office, Weber. What's the idea? What right have you to take over my office, question my ticket seller? You're not from the sheriff's office. We'll have to do until the sheriff gets here. What did you find, Lamont? I found the owner and also the fact that this chamber of horrors floats to sightseeing boats in fresh water. Sure. Why not? We get it out of the water mains. It's cheaper than pumping it out of the ocean. And it's pure. Especially if you make sure to remove dead bodies and dump them in the ocean. What? What are you talking about? <sighs> That's why Tom didn't come out again. Why he didn't meet me at the gate. What are you talking about, Vicky? We know that a friend of Miss Vale's took a ride in one of your boats while waiting to keep a date with her. How do you know that? The city police found a ticket stub in his clothes. Dated the night he disappeared. I don't know anything about it. I never saw him. You better not be lying. Why would I lie? Because you hated him because I wouldn't go out with you. That's a lie. Leo was the one. Who's Leo? A carny strong man who works for Weber, posing as Neptune in one of the undersea tableaus in the tunnel. What does he do? Just pose like a wax dummy? No, he poses with a lot of dummies, but suddenly... He jabs a harpoon at the customers in the boats and nearly scares them to death. 
I can imagine. It's only an act. Was he acting the night Tom Regan disappeared? He acts every night we're open. Where is he now? He hasn't come to work yet. Uh, look here. I don't know anything about this, and I've got things to do. What things? I have to get the tunnel ready in case the rain holds off and we get a crowd. Go ahead. If the sheriff wants to ask me any questions, I'll be back in a few minutes. Why did you let him go, Lamont? Because we have no authority to stop him. And because I want to take an unescorted boat ride to the paper mache chambers of horrors. Stay with Miss Vale, Reagan. Come, Margo. Let's see if there's anything in this tunnel of terror that would scare us to death. Leo. Hey, Leo. Yeah, Webber? Who's that out in the office? A fella named Cranston. And a girl. And the brother of the fella you killed. Shut up! What brought him here? The city police found our ticket stub in Reagan's pocket. Is this Cranston a cop? He's waiting for the sheriff. And you. What did you tell him? <laughs> Nothing. I know my throat. You're in this. You helped me dump his body out on the beach. What did you tell Cranston? I just told him we didn't know anything. You told him something? <laughs> or he wouldn't be looking for me. What? Vicky said I hated Reagan because she wouldn't go out with me. So I... So you told Cranston I had it in for Reagan too, huh? No! Let go! You did! You rat! You want a rat! Well, get in! Where you belong. This tunnel of terror gives me the creeps, Lamont. Even without those gruesome underwater scenes we passed. Yes, that octopus devouring that diver almost looked like lifelike. What are we looking for, Lamont? Uh, the diorama of Neptune's corpse. Including mermaids. And Leo, with his harpoon. Careful, Lamont. Weber said he's an ex carney strongman, and he may not be so... ex. I'll be careful. We're drifting into another diorama. Hold everything. Including my breath. It's Neptune's court. And there's no one sitting on the throne. Uh, grab hold of the side of the wall, Margo. Hold the boat. I don't have to hold it. The boat has stopped. Oh, that's odd. Maybe there's something in the canal that stops it to give the customers a chance to see the... What is it, Lamont? Stay in your seat, Margo. What is it, Lamont? A body. Wedge crossways in the shallow canal, stopping the boat. Who... Whose body? It's Weber's. Lamont, let's get out of here. Please believe me, Mr. Reagan. I was in love with Tom. I wouldn't have done anything to hurt your brother. Please believe me. I want to believe you, Miss Vale, but my brother was killed, and I think you know who did it. If it was anyone, it must have been Leo. Where can I find him? Don't try. Let Mr. Cranston and the sheriff find Leo. He's terribly strong and... and vicious. So am I. Tell me where I can find him. He should be here now. Somewhere in the concession. I'll find him. Please wait until Mr. Cranston comes back. Tell him I'm tired of waiting. Don't. Please don't. Don't what? Leo. Yeah, Vicky. It's me. Have... Have you seen Mr. Weber? Where is he? Where you're going. <gasps> Where? Where you're going? Where you can't talk me into a rap for drowning that Reagan guy. <laughs> Come on, Vicky. You're gonna play mermaid to old King Neptune. Come on with his office, Margo. I'm gonna phone the sheriff's office again. Lamont, Vicky Vale and Jim Regan aren't here. They may have gone out on the midway to meet the sheriff at the gate. I'll check the sheriff's office anyway. Lamont, wait! Look at that wall over there. What about it? There's a crack. An opening. Sort of like a doorway. It looks like it might lead directly into the maze of tunnels. It does. There's a stream of water. And a catwalk alongside. Vicky Vale! Get the sheriff, Margo. Phone him. Find him. Meanwhile, it's time the Shadow took a hand in this.
checking on an apparent murder in a seaside concession called the Tunnel of Terror, Lamont Cranston and Margot Lane have found the owner drowned in his own chamber of horrors. And they have just heard his attractive young assistant screaming for help in the maze of dark tunnels and waterways. Now, while Margot frantically phones for the sheriff and Cranston as the shadow searches for Vicky, the killer has carried her to a diorama called Neptune's Court. Shut up, Vicky. Listen. Listen, I ain't gonna kill you like I had to drown Weber. If you don't make me. You've... you've drowned Mr. Weber too? Yeah. He would have told the cops I drowned your boyfriend, Reagan, when I found him waiting for you right in Neptune's court. Tom wasn't waiting! We had a date to meet at the front gate! It don't matter now. Nothing matters now. Tom's dead! And you killed him because I wouldn't go out with you. Yeah. That's what Weber was going to tell the cops. Where? Where's Mr. Weber? Down there in the boat canal. Take a look. No. I... I believe you. Well, believe me, you'll get the same if you don't get smart. What do you want me to do? Open up Weber's safe. You know the combination. No! The sheriff's coming. We'll be gone before he gets here. All right, Leo. But don't make me go with you. I'm not leaving nobody behind to talk. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Reagan! Don't come near Leo! He's killed Mr. Weber and he'll kill you! We'll have to see about that. Who's that guy in the catwalk, Vicky? I'm Jim Regan, the brother of the boy you drowned. Oh, yeah? But I'm not a boy. You'll be just as dead when I get through with you. Look out for the harpoon! A rotten throw for a guy who plays Neptune. Keep away from him! Wait for Mr. Cranston and the police! He killed my brother. And I'll kill you! Look out for the net! <laughs> Sucker. Now I've got you like fish in a trap. <laughs> Let him go, Leo. Don't hit him again. Put that harpoon down, sister. Let him out of that net or I'll use this harpoon. Okay. Okay, Vicky, I'll make you a deal. What? What kind of deal? Tell you what. I'll take that stick. <gasps> Come here, you little fool. Don't you know mermaids don't know how to handle harpoons? What the shadow does. <laughs> What's that? Who said that? The shadow, Leo. The shadow? Where? Don't bother to look around, Leo. Even if there were twice as much light in this undersea plume of this chamber of horrors, you cannot see the shadow. Well, can I see your shadow? You're here, close by. Almost close enough to touch you. Close enough to drive the harpoon through your murderer's heart. I can see the harpoon moving. Why can't I see you? Because the shadow has a power to paralyze your murderer twisted mind. Though with a girl on the floor, she fainted. Let her go, Leo. What do you want, shadow? Nothing you can offer, Leo. Not even if you're really Neptune. Not even if those sea chests were full of gold. And this were really your kingdom of the deep instead of the tunnel of horrors and death. Why are you here? To put an end to your reign of terror. If I could only see you. If I could only get my hands on you. Take that net off, Jim Reagan. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Then maybe you and me can make a deal, Shadow. Now splash water on his face. From the canal. Revive him. Yeah. Okay. Sure, Shadow. Sure! Ah, gotcha! <laughs> no, Leo. But I thought you'd try throwing that net at me. Why'd you give me a chance if you can control my mind? I will draw mine to do it. Why? I wanted the net taken off Reagan, so he'll be free to hold you for the police when he regains consciousness. How's he gonna keep me here for the cops? Or anybody? Including you, Shadow. This way. The net! Yes. Neptune's net! Ugh. Tricked me! Tricked me into giving you the net! Yes, Leo. Stop struggling. The more struggle, the more entangled you become in a deadly net that you feel murderous folly. The cops! Stop struggling, Leo. You're on the edge of the canal. Lie very still until the police come, or you'll join Weber in the water and drown like Tom Reagan. 
this make-believe kingdom of the deep. <laughs> Cranston, I thought I asked you to keep an eye on Jim Regan while you were out at the Tunnel of Terror. Well, I'm sorry, Commissioner, but I couldn't be in two places at once. And Jim disobeyed Lamont's orders by going into the tunnels at all. According to the Sheriff, Jim almost got himself killed like his brother. But don't forget, Commissioner, Jim did save Vicki Vale's life. How? As I got it, she'd fainted from fright. And Regan was out colder than a mackerel when the Sheriff and his men got into Neptune's palace. Or whatever they call that place. Oh, but Leo was tangled up and helpless in Neptune's net. How did that happen? According to the sheriff, the last thing Jim Regan remembered was being caught in the net himself. Maybe Leo took it off to carry Regan out to the emergency exit to the ocean and got tangled up in himself. No. You know what I think, Cranston? Well, you shouldn't strain your mind on closed cases, Commissioner. I think you went there and threw that net over Leo and then left him so the sheriff could get the full credit for the capture of the killer. It's just the sort of thing you do, Cranston. Oh. <laughs> Lamont, Commissioner Weston thinks you're becoming modest. <laughs> Heaven forbid. A shy guy would never have a chance on a case with you, Commissioner. Much less with the killers we have to deal with. So stay as sly as you are. <laughs> I'll try. Come on, Margo. Can't you see the Commissioner's a very busy man? This story is copyrighted by Street and Smith Publications Incorporated. The characters, names, places, and plot fictitious. Any similarities to anyone living or dead are purely coincidental. Mm -hmm.